Eternia, home of the mightiest warriors in the universe. Somewhere on this planet, I will find the perfect gladiator for my cosmic games. But who will it be? A warrior known as Ram Man, perhaps. <laughs> Though he possesses great strength, the oaf is too clumsy for my purposes. Beastman's power is mighty indeed. But his savage nature makes him completely untamable. No, oh, for my games, I'll need the greatest fighter the universe has ever known. None other than He-Man himself. Now to fake a distress call that will lead the hero to me. Hurry, cat, that distress call said there was a spacecraft down near here. It's he man. I knew he'd answer the call for help. You know what to do. As you wish, game master. Strange, there's no sign of a spacecraft or anything else out here. I don't like this. It feels like a trap. So sure they're from Skeletor. Right, he man Who are you? I am the Game Master. I travel the universe collecting the mightiest warriors for my cosmic games. So, you faked that distress call. I did. I had to lure you out to test your power for myself. I was most impressed. You'll make a fine addition to my arena. Sorry, not interested. Your interests do not concern me, He-Man. You will serve me as I wish. Since you like games so much, try playing with this. You've made your point, warrior. Come, there's nothing for us here. You're going to let him go? Of course not, fool. He's got to have some hidden weakness I can use against him, and my little spy here will find out what it is. Robot is good. Maybe too good. Allow me. Sometimes a shield works best as a weapon. I'll remember that. Thanks, He Man. What happened with that distress call you went to investigate? Was anyone in danger? Only me, Tila. Some villain calling himself the Game Master tried to take me as a gladiator for his cosmic games. What happened? Well, Battle Cat and I turned down his offer. Thank goodness. I'd hate it if you were taken away from Eternia. I'd be losing one of the best warriors I ever knew. As well as one of my best friends. You mean a lot to me. You mean a great deal to me, too. <laughs> Training. I have a more 
important job for you. My little spy has told me that He-Man is fond of a certain young woman in the Eternian Royal Guard. If we were to capture her, He-Man would surely offer himself to us for her release. Now come, we have much to plan. <laughs> There it is, ladies. Man-at-Arms' latest invention, the android horse. Show us how it works, Adam. We'd love to see. All you have to do is sit in the saddle and say, Forward, Strider. Go! Play! Get the ball! Get the ball! Allow me. And obey. We changed Strider's vocal command unit today. Anyone who tries to ride it besides Man at Arms or me gets thrown. I wish I'd known that before I took my bath. I wish you'd realize you don't have to show off to impress people. There's a real charmer inside you, Adam. And I like that fellow a lot. More than he, man? I like you both, but for different reasons. You could never be a warrior like He-Man is. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm pretty good with a sword. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> Adam, I'll need that sword. But wait, Tila. <laughs> You didn't think you could hold us off with a single sword, did you, boy? My sword! I think I'll keep this as a memento of my easy victory. Take this message to He-Man, boy. If he ever wants to see Teela again, he must surrender himself to me at my cosmic arena. Tell him to come alone, or Teela will remain my prisoner forever. Adam, those aliens, where are they taking Teela? They're holding her as bait for He-Man. Well, why don't you just become He-Man and go after them? I wish I could, Orko, but well, they took my sword. Oh, no! I'm going after them. Tila said I'd never be the hero He-Man is. Well, I hope for her sake she's wrong. I have a reading on the Game Master's ship. It's just south of the Mystic Mountains. Are you sure we have to go through with this? Well, as long as He-Man can't make it, we're the only hope Tila has. But the Game Master said He-Man was to come alone. If he sees you... He won't see me. I've got a plan, which is where you two come in. I was wrong to insist on He-Man as my champion. You have considerable skills of your own. Unlock this door and I'll show you some skills you won't forget. In good time, my dear. He-Man comes to rescue you. I'll have Eternia's two mightiest warriors to fight for my amusement forever. <laughs> Now you know what to do. Sure, just leave everything to me. That's it. We're doomed for sure. Shh. Who seeks 
an audience with a Game Master. I am Orko the Great, Eternia's Mightiest Hunter. I have come to offer this mighty jungle cat to the Game Master for his cosmic circus. Doesn't look like much of a fighter, but we'll let the Master decide. <laughs> to bargain for this creature, do you? Uh, let's see what he does. You see before you one of the fiercest, most savage creatures from this or any other planet. Where? Where? And you remember? Oh, yeah, right. <coughs> roar! Growl! Roar! Is that it? Oh, no. Oh, what do you see him in action? First, we'll need a volunteer. You're not afraid of him, are you? Uh, afraid of him? No. Uh, uh, afraid of his teeth and claws? <laughs> yes. Ah, I've wasted enough time with this. That cat is no fighter. This calls for drastic measures. All right, I'll take him. I could always use him as a clown or something. Looks like the prisoner area up ahead. Tila! Tila! <laughs> I see you chose not to deliver my message to He-Man. That will be a mistake you'll regret, since you and your friends went to so much trouble to sneak in. It would be a shame for you to miss the games. <laughs> Take him away! <laughs> Now what's gonna happen? I don't think you're gonna like the answer. I know you came hoping to rescue your friend Tila, so I have thoughtfully released her to watch you fight. Adam! Adam is no warrior. He'll never survive your terrible games. He should have thought of that before coming here. Let the games begin. My sword. If I could just get it. Your opponent is Kragox the Terrible. You can see how he earned that name. <laughs> Once Kragox uses his stinger, it will all be over. Adam, look out for its tail! If only I could get my hands free. Come on, magic. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> this is the best match I've seen in ages. You big bully! You hurt Gila! I'll get you from this, you floating death! Leave him to me, Orko. By the power of Grey Skull. <laughs> for your friends at last. That's right. And once they're safe, I'll settle with you. <laughs> nice going, cat. You've defeated my best warrior, He-Man. But you won't be so lucky with me. Game Master, let's finish this man-to-man. -man. My trident! I said man-to-man, -man, Game Master. Or do you cheat at every game you play? My disc trucker will take care of you. You're not playing fair. I still have my servants, the most powerful warriors gathered from around the universe. Yes, warriors you trapped by force and used as slaves in your games. How loyal are they now? Come back and fight, you cowards! Game's over. You lose. No, I always win. It's not fair. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a sore loser. How are you feeling? I'm fine. But Adam... He's safe. In fact, I couldn't have rescued you without his help. I know. I never thought I'd see Adam play the hero. Neither did I. Now that the Game Master is in the palace jail, you are all free to go home. My time corridor will send you back. I still can't believe it. But this time, I guess we owe it all to Adam. Just between us, Tila, what kind of a man would you prefer? Someone like Adam or someone like me? I don't know. I guess I'm looking for a, a man with Adam's wit and your courage. <laughs> but where would I find him? Today, He-Man was forced to play a dangerous game by the Game Master. The Game Master bragged a lot about winning all the time, but he became angry when he lost and said it wasn't fair. Well, playing games can be a lot of fun, but boasting when you win or getting angry when you lose spoils the fun for everyone. And pretty soon, nobody will want to play with you. So take a tip from me. Be a good winner and a good loser. You'll enjoy your games more, and so will the people who play with you. Good luck and goodbye! Reporting, alien ship approaching Etheria. Robot pilot, let me see it. I don't recognize it. I do. It's from the planet Argon. Hmm, Argon. Their science is much better than ours. Yes. Argonian power cells are the greatest source of energy in the galaxy. 
greatest source of energy. Hmm. If I can get that ship's power cell and use it with my new machine... Yes! It would create an unbreakable force dome over the flight zone. And not even she could break through. Robot leader, bring down that ship. Yes, master. <laughs> Come quickly. What's up? I don't know. We'd better find out what Dr. Blankford's so excited about. There, look. An Argonian spaceship crashed. What happened to it? It was shot down by Hordak's robots. They were probably after the ship's power cell. Argonian power cells? Aren't they supposed to be super strong? Absolutely. And if Hordak got his hands on one... He won't. Bo and I will take the Butterflyer and go to Flax. I've got to fix the ship, somehow. But I'd better be careful. This planet is ruled by the Horde. I met her at the dance last Saturday night. She was the prettiest thing I've ever seen, I can tell you that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Re Bob. Uh-oh. Horde people! That wagon's just what I need to get the ship under cover. I'll have to convince these evil Horde people to help me. Hey! Who's that? W what are you doing? I want you two to do exactly as I say. Uh, y yes, sir. The damaged spaceship should be in this area. There's something over there in that gully. Look! Something was here. Look at that skid mark and the burnt area. Well, if it was the spaceship, it isn't there now. It must have been moved. Let's go into the village and find out if anyone's seen it. Faster! Blast it! Faster! Hurry! Larg will be back soon, and we don't want to make him angry. I'm working as fast as I can. I wish we could take a rest. Uh, he said we had to have these parts right away, or else... What's going on here? Let's find out. Um, uh, excuse me, but I was... Uh, sorry, miss. We, we don't have time to talk. Larg said we're gonna have to be finished by midday, or we'll be sorry. Who or what is Larg? Larg's eight feet tall. Larg's 300 pounds. Larg's big. Larg's tough. I wonder if all this stuff has anything to do with the spaceship. Why don't you check it out while I look for Larg? Right. While Bo's busy... For the honor of Grayskull! Lark. Eight feet tall and 300 pounds. That must be him. Lark. I'm Lark. Who are you? Some Horde officer? No, I'm not with the Horde. I don't believe you, and I have no time for talk. Not even if we talk about your ship? I'm here to help you. A Horde officer help me? All right. 
If you can carry this, you can help me. No problem. But I think you need it more than I do. <laughs> now can we talk? Are you really not with the Horde? The Horde is no friend of mine. Shira. Oh, I'm glad you're here. And I'll bet you're Lark. Do you know what's been going on? Adora said you've been looking for a spaceship. We sure are. And I think we found it. The villagers brought it to this barn in a cart. I see. Will you please tell us what this is all about? I was peacefully flying past your planet when I was shot down. By Hordak's robot planes. Exactly. I asked the villagers to help repair my spaceship. Here it is. I understand how you feel. But on this planet, we don't order people around, no matter how big we are. I had no choice. I had to make the villagers work for me. Fast. Every second counts. Why? What's the rush? Attention, villagers! Uh-oh. This is your leader, Hordak. I know the Argon spaceship is here. If it is not surrendered to me immediately, I will destroy the village. Easier said than done, Hordak. Shira, blast! Fire your sleep rays at her! Your robots will have to do better than that, Hordak. Don't worry, they will. Quick, she needs help. A bolo arrow should tie them up. Good work, Bo. That did it. No more, Mr. Robo, nice guy. Bring in the tanks. Looks as though I'm going to have a real workout. <laughs> Oh, no! Those are my favorite tanks! <sighs> that was good exercise, but I'm afraid the robots are going to pieces. Pitbull! Crusher! Attack! Crusher! <laughs> Shaking you up too much. Bo, are you all right? We're okay. Your turn, Shira. Go get her, Crusher. <laughs> Impossible. No one's that strong. What's the matter, Hordak? Running out of toys? Not a chance! You can't smash my sleep rays! Fire! Can't stay awake. Sweet dreams, muscle maiden! They got Shira. Ah, the Argon spaceship! Load the spaceship! <laughs> At last, I have the ship and its power cell. Take it to the Fright Zone. Hey, they've got my ship. Quick, we've got to help Shira. Are you all right? I'm fine, Bo. Just a little woozy. Please. Can you help me get my ship back? It's very important. You really must be in a hurry to get home. No, that's not it. My Sensatron is warning me. Your what? Sensatron. It tells me if the ship's power cell is working right. And is it? I'm afraid not. It could explode within hours. You mean the explosion could destroy your ship? The explosion could destroy all of Etheria. Maybe we 
should warn Hordak that the power cell is about to explode. No, Lark. Hordak will just think we're trying to trick him. But the cell can go off at any minute. And when it does, it will destroy all of Etheria. Then we'd better find it. Fast. I guess I should have asked for help, but I was afraid of starting a panic. I feel so bad I can't even eat. Why are you always so hungry? Have you ever seen space food? This pill is a whole dinner. What's the little one? Dessert. <laughs> no wonder you like our food. But now, let's go. Where are we going? The Fright Zone. Oh, I'm sorry I asked. Is the power cell from the Argon ship ready? Not yet, Hordak. How much longer? I need it for my force field. Soon. The cell is very strong. We must be careful. Forget careful. Get that cell working. I can't take any chances with the rebels about to attack. I'm putting the Fright Zone on red alert. All stations report. Lasers armed, Master. Backpacks on alert. Catara commanding. Robot patrol reporting, Hordak. The force field is almost ready. Finally! That's Catra. Looks like she's expecting us. There's a secret way into the Fright Zone. We'll use it after Catra's patrol passes by. Please, let's hurry. According to the Sensatron, there's not much time before the power cell explodes. I think we can make it now. Oh, whoa, I'm slipping. Uh-oh. Oh, what have we here? she Whoops, Catra's seen us. And we're running out of time. Then we'd better make this fast. Ah, robots, take she prisoner. Easier said than done, Catra. I'll knock wood for good luck. Oh, I'm looking for this. Give me my Sensatron. I don't want to hurt you. I wouldn't worry about me being hurt. Well, you clumsy can of cogs! You spoiled my aim! Go rust in a rainstorm. I've got the Sensatron, and time is running out. There's going to be an explosion. Let's go! Catra can't stop her. My robots can't stop her, but I can. Turn on the power cell. I don't like the way the cell looks. We may not be able to control it. I think we... Who asked you to think? Put in the cell and start the force field. Now! As you command. We can get into the fright zone through this drainage pipe. What's that? A force field's been turned on. Hordak must be using the power cell. Jump for it. Bad. The power cell's beginning to overload. Shira and the Argon Stranger are inside the force field. <laughs> I finally trapped Shira. This force field is my best idea yet. <laughs> I'll have some of my robots give her a big horned hello. I just hope we don't have to fight our way past any more robots. This is wonderful. 
Soon She-Ra will be my prisoner. Hort Prime will be pleased. Perhaps he'll even give me a new name. Hordak the Invincible. Hordak the Fearless. <laughs> How about Hordak the Humble? Oh, no. You'd better forget it, Hordak. You're running out of robots. Shira, you irritating Amazon. I've had enough from you. Hordak. Hordak. Something's wrong with the power cell. It's overloading. It's going to explode. Shadow Weaver, turn it off. Uh, I can't. The controls have melted. I'm getting out of here. Oh? How are you going to get past your force field? I'll transport out. Something's stopping my transport power. It's the force field, Hordak. It won't let any of us out. Oh, I'm trapped by my own force field. And it's going to explode. What am I going to do? This is your worst idea yet, Shadow Weaver. My idea. We've got to move fast. It's only a matter of seconds. We'll blast our way through. Shadow Weaver, fire an energy bolt. Now! <laughs> It's not working! That's one tough force field, all right. Then we're doomed! We'll never break through it! I'll try. Here goes! She's getting through. She's too late! We're doomed! The power cell's about to explode. Sword to rope. <sighs> it's stuck. Got to try harder. That's it. Hurry, Shira. It's going to explode. No problem. Ah! Did it? What a woman. Whoops! Going down! Well, that's the end of Hordak's force field. And my power cell. I'll never get home now. What's happening? The force field is shrinking on top of me. It's some leftover energy from the power cell. Don't worry, Hordak. We'll get you out of there. I think we should leave him where he is. You know, Lark, I wish we could. <laughs> I don't need your help. With the force field machine destroyed, I can get out of here by myself, but you'll pay for this. That still leaves me with the problem of how to get home. I think I know how to solve that problem. Shira! I'm sure glad you were able to contact my friends to come and get me. We'll never forget you. And I'll never forget what you taught me. I'll never try to force people to do what I want again. If I need help, I'll ask for it. Uh, one last thing. We don't want you to go away hungry, so we fixed some snacks for you. Two baskets for me? What are they? This one is dinner. And this one? Oh, that's dessert. <laughs> <laughs> your friend Lucky again. Did you find where I was hiding today? If not, here's another chance. See me? Here I am. In today's story, Lard mistreated the villagers because they were different from him. He was wrong. No one likes to be treated badly. Always remember that other people want to receive the same respect and understanding that you do. 